Hi everyone, this is Miss Cowan. This is chapter two, and this is problem number four. So it says Miss Burns is solving an equation. Her work is shown below. Circle the first step in which her, her work shows an error. So anytime I have um, an error analysis problem, I personally work the problem out first step by step and then check my steps against their steps. So that's what we're gonna do for number four. So if I'm looking at where the equation is right here, over on the side, I'm gonna work this problem out and I'd like you to do that with me. It says six times the quantity X minus three. We're gonna take our answer, we're gonna add 10. And that's gonna to equal two times the quantity two X minus four. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute, I'm going to multiply this 6 on the outside to everything on the inside. So it's going to be to both the x and the 3. So 6 times x is 6x. Six, 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then we have, we still have the 10. And we're going to bring down the equal sign. And then over on the right, we have 2 times x. That's 4x. Then we have 2 times negative 4, which gives me negative 8. I'm going to look at um, the first step, step 1. And it looks like they have 6x minus 18 plus 10 is equal to 4x minus 8. So far everything looks good. So now I'm going to, it looks like they simplified, they combine like terms. So I'm going to put together, I'm going to combine this negative 18 and the positive 10. So together, um, <clears throat> they're on the same side. One's negative, one's positive. So I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 10 is 18 minus 10 is 8, and there's more negatives, so this is 6x minus 8 is equal to 4x minus 8. <clears throat> so I'm looking at step 2. Uh, 6x plus 8, so they have a different sign than what we have. So that's the first mistake right there, step 2. They put a plus 8 and it should have been a minus eight. Okay, so let's see, because it says describe the errors and so show how she could do the work correctly. Did she make more than one error? Ooh, so let's look and see if there's any more. On their end, um, 6x plus eight equals 4x minus eight. That's what they got in step two. Subtract eight. They're left with 6x equals 4x plus 16. It looks like they made an error. If you have a negative 8 and you're adding it to negative 8, it doesn't make positive 16. So there's another error. Uh, let's say, okay, if, they, if that was their answer and then they subtracted 4x from both sides, they had 2x equals 16. That means you're going to divide by 2. 2x equals 16. Divide by 2. And you do not get 32. They multiplied. So they made a couple of mistakes. So we're going to come over here on the side and we're going to finish solving this. So I'm going to take 4x off each side. And I get 2x minus 8 equals negative 8. Uh, I'm going to add 8. And then divide by 2. I get x equals 0. Okay, so we need to describe the steps that she made the errors. Step 1. she has the wrong sign. She has a positive eight and it should have been
negative eight. In step three, she added negative eight and negative eight And she wrote positive 16. It should have been negative 16. And then last, step five. She uh, multiplied when she should have divided. Okay, so we came up with our own answer. We circled the first step in which she made showed an error and then um, we described all the errors so that's it for number four